So, what are you trying to say? Are you kidding? What did you just say? Are you kidding me? What did you say? Are you kidding me? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Are you kidding me? What did he just say? And I'll pretend I never heard you say that. Are you kidding me? Oh, no, you didn't. Are you kidding me? I'm not saying that's what he said. I know that's what he said. Are you kidding me? What did you say? Are you kidding? What did you just say? Seriously, what is she saying? Oh, no, you didn't. Tuna! Are you kidding me? So. Well, and, and you know what? I Again, I, I would like to really give someone the benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. I really would like to try and say, okay, well, I, I, I believe. I don't believe that. I, I know there are some pro-lifers that believe that Barack Obama is evil incarnate. I, I'm not <laughs> one of those people. Sure. I think if you look at him and you do look at him with his wife and his, mm-hmm. his daughters, I really do wish the best for him as a Christian. I pray yeah. for him that he makes good decisions. Absolutely. But at the same time, even if he means well, even if he has the very best of intentions, when you look at things like that, when you look at quotes like that, and then when you look at studies like Michael New's study, I just don't see how you can honestly, taking politics out of it, I don't see how you can honestly say that his policies are actually going to reduce abortions. Well, let's get to his policies. Do we need to take a break? No. Oh, we, we don't. We, don't have, we already took a break. Oh, <laughs> well, never gonna, mind. <laughs> okay, here's his policies. Because I know, I know we, we're going to need to wrap it up because we've gone mm-hmm. almost 30 minutes already. President Obama is likely going to sign into a law that he was uh, they co-sponsored as a senator that would sanction the mass production of cloning of embryonic human beings for research and effectively requiring their subsequent destruction. Mm-hmm. The bill alone, which McCain opposed, by the way, would multiply the killing of tiny human beings to an industrial scale. Okay. NARAL, now, now going back to the whole social thing, NARAL mm-hmm. Pro Choice America has lamented that just the denial of public funds for abortion, and this is, I quote, forces about half the women who would otherwise have abortions to carry unintended, unintended pregnancies to term. In other words, NARAL estimates that Obama's policy of public funding would double the abortion rate. Mm. Okay, moving and that's on. A, that's a pro abortion organization. Yeah, NARAL, <laughs> Pro Choice America, Big National Abortion Rights Action League. Obama opposes the Hyde Amendment, which restricts taxpayer funding of abortions in the U.S. He opposes the Mexico City policy, which bars the use of federal taxes for abortion overseas. And oh, yeah, did we forget about this? Well, the first thing I do as president is, is sign the Freedom of Choice Act. Uh, that's the first thing. Oh, yeah, speaking of Freedom <laughs> of Choice Act. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. We've spoken about Freedom of Choice Act. Freedom of Choice Act is a, is a, piece, of, is, is a piece of legislation that might actually go through, where it, which would basically roll back every single pro-life law ever passed, every, including the partial birth abortion ban. And, uh, and, and, and this is where it gets interesting, because, and this is where I feel like there's some intellectual dishonesty, and that's what I'm really against, is, okay, mm-hmm. you know, if you're pro-life and you think Obama's going to drop the abortion rates, okay, fine, but use good arguments. And here is where the leader of that, Kamiak, I think is actually being very disingenuous. He admits that Obama supports Freedom of Choice Act. And this is what, which is like the most pro-choice bill possible. Right. And this is what Kimi X says, okay? Now, and, 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 and tell me if you think he's downplaying what Freedom of Choice Act would do. I quote, there is much dispute over Freedom of Choice Act's intended effect. Its opponents, including me, argue that it will roll back important policies like waiting periods. Its supporters, including Senator Obama, think it's more of a non-discrimination principle, allowing restrictions on abortion but only when they exist on other comparable medical procedures. Either way, is this an independent reason for Catholics to disregard Obama's commitment to social justice? He's, that completely downplays what Freedom of Choice Act would do. It would roll back informed waiting the periods, Freedom of informed Choice consent. Brad act is like the arch nemesis of the pro-life movement and it will it's and not to rachel skyrocket and by the way this is the, this idea that is going to roll back legislation is not the subject of much dispute planned parenthood says it's going to roll back all the pro-life laws narrow says it's going to going, going, going to roll back all the pro-life laws so i don't know where the dispute is besides yes. what comedic says well the crazy thing is there and, and this is actually kind of scary. Again, I, I want to give Professor Kamiak the, the benefit of the doubt. I, I think he's probably trying to do the right thing. But he himself says, well, I'm, I oppose the Freedom right. of Choice Act. But apparently he doesn't think those things are important enough to stop. I mean, I, I, I just don't. <laughs> I, I, I just sure going to end that sentence. No, but. I just, I, I just it, it kind of blows my mind to think that he actually admits, well, yeah, you know, Barack Obama will sign this. And mm-hmm. yeah, you know, I believe that it's going to do these things. But 
you know, it's not that big of a deal. Just because he's going to do these things that will increase the abortion rate, does that mean we should not support him? Two more points. According to an, uh, an interview with Glamour magazine, Obama actually you know, uh, talked about how he opposed the Supreme Court decision to ban partial birth abortion, hmm. calling abortion a constitutional right essential to women's equality. And as a state senator, he opposed legislation with the U.S. Mm -hmm. Senate passed an identical form by a 98 to 0 vote to protect children born alive during a botched abortion. He voted against protecting them from being left in a hallway to die from crying to death. Now, my, here, 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 here's what I think. I think that Professor Kamiak has placed red hearings, baseless factual claims, and glaring non sequiturs in the service of a conclusion whose logic would be laughable if it was not so sad and that it threatens countless innocent lives that the most pro-abortion president to ever live in American history will be a blessing for the unborn. It's, 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 it's delusional, I think.